I promise you that Christians love Jesus just as much as you love Muhammad. But if I caricature or insult Jesus, I don't get death threats as a result. All right. Bold statements, bold refutations. I hope you're ready, Cosmic. Make sure you hold on to your chair because you might fly off. They called the play insulting to Christians. The message went on, because of you, we will exterminate every member of the theatre and burn the place to ground. Oh, I'm sure Christians... Christians won't do that, will they? Why is Islam so sensitive, isn't it? Isn't it uh, mate, let's, 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 let's go straight to you, yeah? Are you not the same person who emailed Mohammed Hijab to take the video down of your debate with Sabor, if I'm not mistaken? Why are you so damn sensitive? Yes, that's correct. Not only does it encourage you to read, it tells you how many verses you've read, how many pages you read, how long you've been on it, and best of all, the Hasana counter. Download the Quran app now and have a Ramadan with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's book like you've never had before. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Hope you guys are well, inshallah. Now, the question you guys are going to be asking is, Brother Ali, what are you dressed up for? Is that a marriage? Is there a party? A halal one, of course. Well, I've got something better, guys. It's better than a party and better than a marriage. Because we know when we go to these parties or marriages, you know, if someone's getting married, free food, and alhamdulillah, you're having fun. It's going to be greater than that. It's going to taste better than that, brothers and sisters, inshallah. Whatever you get served in your marriage events. Anyways, guys, so this is going to be a reply to... Cosmic Skeptics uh, video titled, Why is Islam so sensitive? What we're going to do, brothers and sisters, as you guys know, a dehumidifier dehumidifies the humidity in the air. I'm going to be dehumidifying the intellectual dishonesty and corruption in the air. Yes, which is Cosmic Skeptics video. And we're going to go through this one by one, step at a time, nice and slowly. And we're going to see that how his double standards and his hypocrisy, yeah, not just him, many people like him. But before I start the video, I just want to make something and I want to raise awareness to it. If you guys remember, Cosmic Skeptic, after his debate with Mohammed Hijab, you know, his kind of went a bit downhill, you know, intellectually. We know what that debate was and how it went. And he turned to doing videos about veganism and he can do whatever he likes on his channel. You know, he turned to veganism and talking about this and that, etc. And I think he's even a vegan himself. Now, today I was watching a video on veganism. I just wanted to know what impact it has on the body when you stop eating meat. Um, because I had to make a correlation between his pathetic video and I had to make some kind of excuses for him. What caused him to make such a pathetic, ridiculous video? I mean, actual academic dishonesty. Well, I found out something. And this is a statement. It's a fact. This video is about being sensitive. So if vegans are watching this, especially, you know, Cosmic Skeptic, please don't be offended. Yeah, don't be so sensitive. sensitive yeah. So what I saw was that in a few, the first couple of weeks, yeah, first couple of weeks, let alone not eating for eight months or one year, yeah, which Cosmic Skeptic hasn't, I'm assuming. It says that vitamin B12 and iron, which helps make red blood cells and transport oxygen through the body, is affected because vitamin B12 and iron helps oxygen to go throughout the body because it makes up the blood cells. So the only excuse I could come to is that not only was there deficiency of B12, vitamin B12 and iron in his video, it was also deficient in his body because a lack of oxygen being sent to the brain may have caused him to do this video. This is the only excuse I could have come with. Because I couldn't understand and fathom how he could dare, dare, I mean, how silly can you be to make such a bold statement? And bold statements that, that come with bold refutations like this video. Why is Islam, seemingly more than any other religion, at least at the moment, so sensitive to criticism and mockery? That's a bold statement. That's a very big bold statement. I need to bring evidence to that, that Islam is the only religion or only way of life that is so sensitive. After all, if I made a video asking why Jews react so violently and intensely to criticism, you'd probably ask, what am I talking about? And demand some examples. It's telling then that I don't need to give you any examples of Islamic overreaction because you've already thought of some. So here's his premise. The premise is the following, guys, yeah? He's mentioned, if you mentioned the Jews, or arguments take another group of people or religion, whatever the background, whatever it may be, that he would have to find uh, um, examples to give you to make sense but when it's Islam we all know the moment he mentioned that we all had hundred things coming into our mind okay so let me get this right guys and tell me if I'm right or wrong and I believe this is absolute fallacious reasoning yeah if I target arguments say Chinese people systematically and continuously I target them over and over and over again and I uh, provoke them I desecrate their scripture I mock their religion or whatever it may be, right? Okay, 
and as an atheist, uh, they're, they're atheists as well. Imagine, uh, you know, your cold Chinese, how strict they are, yeah, when it comes to free speech, yeah. Um, they didn't even, at one point, they, 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 they banned Winnie the Pooh, Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, yeah, because it was mocking the president or something like that, yeah. Anyways, so imagine I systematically attack, and when they are provoked, and some of them that, let's say there's a group of them that choose to ignore, majority of them, some of them insult back, and some of them get violent and try to kill me, yeah. And then I go, see, guys, look how sensitive the Chinese are. Now, how is that fair when you're systematically only attacking the Chinese? Have you experimented with the Japanese? Have you experimented with the Americans? Have you experimented with the people in the United Kingdom? Have you experimented with the Moroccans? Have you exper experienced, I mean experimented, done a case study with all these groups to come to the conclusion that we've done the same thing to everybody, all of them in the past century, and only the Chinese were acting like this? No, you haven't. So how are you using a case study when you've systematically, not just you, the Western world systematically attack the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the contradictory so which I'm going to come to, systematically over and over again, and that's the only case study that you're using. And you're making it seem as Muslims are the only sensitive one. Not only that, you make the little group who act in violence as if it's the majority. That's pathetic. 1988, Salman Rushdie, an established and well-respected author, published a novel in the UK called The Satanic Verses, which parodied Islamic themes. The following year, the Ayatollah Khomeini, supreme leader of a foreign country, Iran, issued a fatwa ordering Muslims worldwide to seek out and kill Mr. Rushdie because the novel was deemed to be so offensive to Islam. This is why the question is such an often repeated one. Why is it? that Islam is just so violently resistant to any form of mockery or criticism. There you go, guys. So once again, as you can see, he's got uh, Khomeini from Iran. The majority of the Sunnis, I don't, if, I, don't, I don't think they even recognize his Islamic State, yeah? Argument's sake, let's suppose we do, yeah? He gave, gave a fatwa, which he gave one year later, by the way, which could be for political reasons. We know people do all kinds of stuff for politi uh, politics, yeah? They, they even attack their own selves. We know false flag attacks that governments take uh, action, um, take on their own selves. To, uh, um, uh, to let it be a ripple effect towards a, a war. Governments do all kinds of stuff, let alone Khomeini coming in China, you know, oh, look, I'm, I'm here to defend the police. Yeah, we don't, we don't buy this. And you're getting that as some kind of case study, and he gave six million to someone to kill him. And that's your only case study that you're using. Now, let's carry on, because it's going to get a little bit interesting. Because let's see, is it only Muslims that are sensitive? Or is Cosmic himself a bit sensitive as well? Or other people as well? Let's get straight into it. This is about to get real, real exciting, guys. I promise you that Christians love Jesus just as much as you love Muhammad. But if mm -hmm. I caricature or insult Jesus, I don't get death threats as a result. All right. Bold statements, bold refutations. I hope you're ready, Cosmic. Make sure you hold on to your chair because you might fly off it. Yeah? Here we go, guys. Yeah? Intell you're intellectually, you're going to get dehumidified. Literally. Serrano's photograph of a crucified Jesus figure sub submerged in the artist's... Uh, in the artist's urine, urine has become an icon in itself. His Christ was removed from the wall, kicked and hammered after the local after the local Catholic Archbishop failed to obtain a court order to stop the piece from being exhibited. Uh, exhibited in 2011, when the French collection Lambert in Avignon showed the work, employees were greeted with death threats, and the work again and the work. Again, was hammered. Most recently, in Corsica, protesters stormed the museum where the piece was exhibited. I'm sorry, guys. I, f I felt so excited to do this video that I even forgot to mic myself up. I had to stop the video and mic myself up. Let's carry on, inshallah. Yeah, nothing's stopping us today, inshallah. Oh, death threats by the Christians. Those who love Jesus, yes? Truly who love Jesus. Not the, well, I would say, the majority of the Western world who are atheists now. Who don't really care. They do not care. But for those who care along the Bible Belt, in America, and in different parts of Europe, they would surely be knocking your teeth out. There was actually a video I came across where a few teens, atheists, were mocking the Bible and a group of Christian youngsters came and knocked the teeth, literally knocked them out. There was even a girl there. Anyways, let's move on, inshallah. The plastic religion compromising 33 sculptures that reimagined Barbie and Kendall's as religious figurines. The Ken version of Jesus on the cross in particular didn't go down too well. The page, the work, the work, uh, the work slated to go on display at Popper Gallery in Buenos Aires in October. But the artists were threatened by Argentinian Catholic groups and the gallery director, Marcelo Bosco, decided to cancel the show for security reasons. Why are they so sensitive, Cosmic? 
I don't know. The Last Supper with the Christ in a woman's dress and high heels and cross-dressing apostles with BDSM costumes for an exhibition entitled Echo Homo. His first appearance in Eastern Europe sparked a particular uproar. Religious activists took on the streets to protest against the display of the exhibit in Bel Belgrada, Serb Serbia. And around 2,000 policemen had to be called in to avoid violence breaking out. I can give you many examples and I'm going to put a link to these. You can go read it yourself. The statue of Jesus wearing Mickey Mouse ears entitled Poon was particularly controversial. A Filipino television program deemed the show offensive and public outrage including threats to the artists ensued. The CCP ended up shutting the show down. Why so sensitive? In it. Why is Islam so sensitive? Terogonia performed a public Russian square consistent of hacking a series of mass-produced orthodox icons with an axe. In a surprising turn of events, Ter Oganian was stopped while performing and punched by fellow artists who saw his work as offensive. He subsequently emigrated from Russia, <laughs> run for your life mate, Russia under the threat of criminal case for igniting religious hatred. Again, yeah, this happened in Russia. The Orthodox uh, exhibition was vandalized by Orthodox radicals and the state sided with them. The state sided with them, even charging Samaradov with igniting religious enmity and causing him to lose his job at the museum. Why is Islam so sensitive? Made from more than 200 pounds of milk chocolate and standing six feet tall, but after a group of Catholics called the work a sickening display and the artist received death threats. And Roger Smith Hotel, which houses a gallery, shut down the show causing Matt Selma, the gallery's creative di director, to submit his resignation. The Catholic League also said the work was one of the worst assaults on Christian sensibilities ever. Why is Islam so sensitive? So the way you make it out, and I've got more lists, I'm going to carry on guys, wait, wait we're going to carry on here. Yeah? You make it seem, Islam for the past century has been systematically, Muslims have been massacred on, in the millions, in the millions, and we know what's going on in Afghanistan, yeah? Dehumanized to a level. You make it seem like we're just like, not open to criticism. We do dawah, we are open to criticism. All day, every day. Insult is different to criticism. Know the difference, yeah? So let's go to the Danish um, papers. Charlie Hebdo. Tiny Charlie Hebdo. And this is where it gets so interesting. My gosh. My gosh, it's rich coming from you talking about freedom of speech, isn't it? Cosmic. Danish paper rejects Jesus cartoons. Jalinda's Posten, the Danish newspaper that first published the cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad that have caused a storm of protest throughout the Islamic world, refused to run drawings lampooning Jesus Christ it has emerged today. The Danish daily turned down the cartoons of the Christ three years ago on the grounds that they could be offensive to readers and were funny. And were not funny. My gosh, you can't make this crap up, can you? My gosh, you cannot make this up. Guess what they say next? This is what they said, one of the, uh, the ones I think they drew, yeah? In the Mohammed drawings case, we ask the illustrators to do it. I did not ask for those, I did not ask for these cartoons. That's the difference. Well, it is damn different. One of them, you're provoking, doing it on purpose, and the other, you're not. That's our point here. Sean King's calls to remove white Jesus statue leading to ridiculous outrage threats. Why is Muslims, why is Islam so sensitive? Terence Mc, McNally's <coughs> Corpus Christ under attack in Indiana. Not just Indiana, New York, Texas, and Greece. They got the bomb threats. They got bomb threats. Check this out, guys. The play featured a Jesus-like figure who has sex with apostles, this instigated wide protest from the Christian right community, notably the Catholic League for Religious and Civil Rights. They called the play insulting to Christians. Oh, Christians, oh, they never get, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, they called the play insulting the Christians and vowed to, listen carefully. Let me get ready for that one second. <coughs> you guys ready? Yeah, here we go. <coughs> I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm overwhelmed. This is what they said. They called the play in Sword of Christian and vowed to wage a war that no one will forget against its production. President William O'Donnell sent a letter to numerous public officials demanding an immediate halt on public monies, public monies that support the Manhattan Theatre Club. A group called itself the National Security Movement of America made telephone threats against the Jew guilty homosexual Terence McNally. The message went on, because of you, we will exterminate every member of the theatre and burn the place to ground. Oh, well, I'm sure Christians, Christians won't do that, would they? Why is Islam so sensitive, isn't it? Isn't it cosmic? Yeah. Anyway, as a result of these threats and demands, uh, transatlantic, trans world airlines and of the corporate sponsors of the MTC withdrew its financial support on May 21st. The Manhattan Theatre Club announced that it was cancelling its production of the play due to their concerns for security after anonymous threats of violence to the theatre and itself. Christians will never do that, will they? Nah. Anyways, 
The baby offers second apology after recent homophobic comments. Why are the LGBTQT so sensitive, in it? Um, Emmanuel Macron, my gosh, you cannot make this stuff up at all. Emmanuel Macron takes legal action over Hitler poster comparison. He was drawn as a Hitler and he's taken, and this bloody double standard hypocrite scum. My gosh, the Prophet Muhammad's cartoons is fine. Him as a Hitler, don't you dare, don't you dare, we'll sue you. You dare to go and insult the British flag, yeah? You're going to prison, mate, yeah? Brita Patel crisis, uh, criticizes racist cartoons showing her as a fat cow in The Guardian. Why is she so sensitive? Only Islam was sensitive, yeah? Not only that, mate, let's, 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 let's go straight to you, yeah? Are you not the same person who emailed Mohammed Hijab to take the video down of your debate with Sabor, if I'm not mistaken? Why are you so damn sensitive? Why did you email when he has every right to put that up? And he was like, no, you don't have a right to put that down. Why? Because you got humiliated. You got absolutely dehumidified. Yes? And because of that, because of that, you email him. And here's the emails asking him to take it down. I, you, my gosh, you are damn sensitive, aren't you? Yeah? And not only that, if you think about it, if we go to your hometown, Oxford, Education Secretary slams absurd cancelling of the Queen's as students at Oxford Magdalen College vote, vote to take down an welcoming portrait of the monarch from graduates, common room because she represents recent colon, colonial history. There was an uproar about that from your city, mate. So I don't know what the hell are you talking about? Here we go. For example, making fun mockery of the um, Prince Philip in animated satire. The British public lost its mind. Teachers losing their job. You can't even deny the Holocaust. Even if you academically, academically come to make a case against denying the Holocaust, you'll be imprisoned in certain countries. Why is the Jewish people so sensitive? Aren't they cosmic? Let's carry on. Mexico to play two World Cup qualifiers without fans due to use of Islamic uh, homophobic chants. Why is the homo uh, Why is the LGBTQT so sensitive? Aren't they? Look, it goes on. You get the point. You get the point. But before I go, I do want to stress that I really don't like when people go out of their way to insult or offend people just for the sake of it. It's uncivilized, it's unhelpful, and it's morally condemnable. But I don't criticize Islam just for the sake of it. I criticize Islam because it threw the first punch by demanding my obedience and threatening me with hellfire for non-compliance. Like I said before, I don't know if you started your Islamic studies, which you told Sabur you was going to, but you definitely got, are getting a damn F. If I was your teacher, yeah, I have to be your teacher in this very instance because you have no damn knowledge about Islam, I would give you a flipping F, yeah, yeah? F for flop, not even fail, it's flop, yeah? What the hell are you talking about? Who's asking you to submit to anything? Islam has its way and we have verses in the Quran to you, your religion, to us, ours. Yeah, Surah Baqarah, we have different verses in the, in the Quran, yeah, uh, Surah Kafirun, uh, uh, we have verses where to you, your religion, to us. Who the hell says you have to submit? Where the hell are you getting this nonsense from? It's absolutely pathetic. Yeah, please go. I can find you somewhere to study Islam properly, please. Yeah, get in contact with me. I'll give you a discount too. Right, Muslims love the Prophet more than they love their mothers. That's fine. Right, you can love whoever you please. I really don't care. And I certainly won't mock you or insult you for simply choosing to love someone. The problem is that you don't just claim this right for yourself. Right? The Islamic faith demands not only your undying love for Allah, but mine too. It says that if I refuse to share your love for the Prophet, I'm deserving of eternal torment in the fires of hell. Firstly, I've never come across such rubbish in my life. Nowhere in Islam does it tell you that you have to love the Prophet or Allah or Islam. Where did you get this from? The Prophet peace be upon him signed the treaty in Hudaybiyah, yeah, with the Mushrikeen, yes, that one of them said that we don't recognize you as the Prophet of God. They didn't say, no, you have to. No, you have to. No. The Prophet peace be upon him said, delete it. Yeah, like raise that part where it says messenger of God. So where the hell do you get this notion that you have to be, you know, if you don't, you're doomed and you're finished. Where the hell do you get that from? That's why I'm, I'm telling you, you need to get some B12 and iron in your system because oxygen is not going to your brain. I'll be honest with you, call it ad hominem or whatever you like. It's so pathetic. I won't ever mock or criticize another man's mother or brother or sister or friend or prophet without warrant. I won't criticize anybody without a proper justification. And if I did, I'd expect quite an angry response. But if you started to claim that I must love your mother too, and that if I don't, I'll burn in hell, and that if I change my mind, you'll kill me, then I think a little bit of criticism and mockery on my part might be justifiable. I mean, this is absolute nonsense, man. It's preposterous, this is crazy. Who said that you have to love our prophet? Where the hell did you get this from? Look, let me, let me make something very clear. If you're walking with your mum, and I walk past you, there's going, to be no, there's going to be no problem between us. If I walk past your mum and say, hi, madam, and she says, hi, sir, 
there'll be no problem between us two. If your mom is a public figure and she does things which I have deemed to be wrong, by the way, I don't know which on what uh, moral base as an atheist you're coming with uh, to deem anything to be right or wrong, by the way, yeah? Okay, and you are by the way, a hardcore determinist, yeah? I don't even know how you can even blame Muslims to be sensitive because you believe it was determined, you know? You're a hardcore determinist, you know? So what they did is out, uh, out of their hand. So I don't even know why you can even do the video. Anyways, let's go with it, yeah? So if I want to criticize him and I go, Madam, there was something that you did and I believe it was wrong and I'm challenging you. That's criticism. That's dawah. We get that. The reason we do dawah is people come. We don't give dawah and be like, Hi sir, want to know about Islam? Yes, I want to take my shahada. Woo! Accept Islam. It doesn't work like that. People come and criticize and ask questions for God's sake. That is different. However, if I'm walking past your mom and I say, You bloody da 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 and you are da 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 and you are this and this and this and that and then I draw pictures of your mom, whatever it may be, you have a right to be... In, um, Provoked, yeah? You have a right to feel offended. And if you start saying, if you start going in a matter and I say, oh, look at this guy. Look how sensitive he is, man. Look at this little boy. Yeah, little boy. Why are you so sensitive, boy? Yeah? If I said that, you're going to be thinking to yourself, what the hell? That's exactly the same thing. Criticizing and insulting are two separate things. Don't conflate the two. Yeah? And nobody said you have to love the prophet. This is nonsense. Nobody's ever said it. Don't insult. That is our point. We're open to criticism because ex Islam is not exclusive. Yeah? Okay, to this thing. You make it seem like it's only Muslims. Muslims are the only ones. My gosh, go to a bloody England match. Don't say a word and walk past with an Italian flag. Let's see how long you last, mate. Yeah? So don't come to me chatting breeze uh, about this, please. Yeah? Okay? And not only that. Let's just touch upon something, okay? The, the, the bloody ex, the fake ex-Muslim community. They mocked the Indian gods, the Hindu gods, the Hindu gods, yeah? What happened to them? They were getting death threats. Their parents, they were getting using their pictures of their deceased mothers as, uh, and, and passing those pictures on pornographic images. They were getting death threats, yeah? You see how the tides turned? Is it not Muhammad himself who burst into the Kaaba after his military conquest of Mecca and destroyed every idol of pagan worship at the site? Why should you expect me to adhere to, or even respect, your blasphemy laws prohibiting me from so much as drawing the prophet, when that same prophet himself was so blasé in the destruction of non-Islamic religious symbols? Well, this is absolutely nonsense as well, because at the end of the day, that, the Kaaba was free from idol worship. This is, that was his original form. The prophet came to put it back to his original form, number one. Number two, the prophet, we are told that it's forbidden in the Qur'an to go and uh, insult the other gods of other people's religions. It is haram. Yeah, even in the Christians who live on the Islamic rule, you're not allowed to go to their place of worship and damage their places of worship. You are not allowed to do that. So that is different to a, a, um, a conquest. And after that conquest, people come in and demon, for example, this is uh, uh, blasphemous and getting rid of those stuff. Like, for example, when the rulership, Islamic rulership took over Egypt, they didn't get rid of these statues and stuff like that. Yeah, even though some of them see them as deities, they didn't come and uh, destroy them. So how is that the same? We are not allowed to insult other people's gods. But this doesn't mean that when a conquest happens and the rulership is taken over, that the state decides what they can do. How the hell is that the same? Let's carry on. And I'll end on this note, guys. Did you know that the US spent half a billion pounds on fake propaganda videos? Did you know that? Did you know 357% um, uh, when it's Islamic related terrorism, whatever it may be, is more on the media, 357% more than any other news that are uh, uh, pertaining to the same incident. That is the reason why maybe it is so highlighted that you think Islam is sensitive. Let me tell you something. Islam is not sensitive at all. Islam is... Be sure, when you debated Muhammad Hijab and Abdullah Andalusi, you knew what time it is. You knew and you know how strong Islam is with its literature, with our traditions and with the truth that hundreds and thousands of people are coming to Islam in the Western world, especially women. We don't need so don't make it seem like Islam is a weak religion and we're sensitive. You go and apply any of these things systematically to any other community and see what will happen. Then come and tell me Islam is sensitive. Till then, Cosmic, stop sending emails to Muhammad Jab and others to take videos down because you're so damn sensitive. Till next time. Goodbye. You believe that this injunction to kill apostates comes directly from God himself and are proud of it as a result.